Which of these four popular pans are better? Let's find out. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is fry an egg. I think uh, kind of gives the baseline here. We have the pan up to temperature, 292 degrees Fahrenheit, about 145 degrees Celsius. I will use a little cooking spray. I think most people would use cooking spray or butter. That performed rather well. The egg kept a nice shape. I overcooked it, hoping it would stick, or at least give it a chance to stick, but it certainly has not. As expected, it's performed very well in cooking an egg. It is non-stick. It has texture all in the pan from where they cast it. And this is the only one where the handle got hot. But none of the egg stuck, but it does not slide as easily as the other coatings. Okay, let's try to really put it through its paces. Let's get the pan up to temperature. It's about 503 degrees Fahrenheit, 263 degrees Celsius. I have a third of a cup of shredded cheddar cheese, which is about 100 milliliters. All right, let's see how it did. Oh my goodness. You can see this cheese is completely burnt. Well, that slides amazingly well. Didn't stick at all. I had to turn the stove top down because this pan transfers the heat very efficiently and it got much hotter. Let's see if it'll unstick. Well, amazingly, even though it did stick, it came right up. 
it's time to really put some abuse to these pans. I have a barbecue fork here that I bent the tines to about a 90 degree angle. I put on a two pound weight, which is just under a kilogram, about 900 grams. I'm gonna scratch it across the surface of each pan 50 times. Let's see how we have here. You can definitely see where it was scratching, but I do not see any of the aluminum pan showing through. And I don't even feel any of the coating. definitely taking the coating off and I can see the metal pan the aluminum underneath the center is not so bad but it's definitely scratched Wow I can see where the pan is showing through the aluminum on the edges the center is actually remarkably still intact I don't feel any the coating which is good as well. I can barely see, I don't even know if it'll show up on camera, where I was scratching. I certainly don't see any of the black carbon coming off down to untreated uh, iron. Now let's do an impact test on each one of these pans. I have a one inch steel ball bearing which is about 27 millimeters in diameter. Then I'm going to drop 24 inches which is about 61 centimeters into the center of each pan right where I was scratching earlier. We'll see if the pan dents or if the coating flakes off. I'll drop it 50 times and see what the result is. Okay let's begin the impact test. I'm going to drop the steel ball bearing 50 times. It definitely dented the pan, but I don't see any of the coating flaking off. There's a slight dent all the way through to the bottom of the aluminum. Certainly some dents in the pan, but I don't see any of the coating flaking off. And I don't see any damage to the bottom of the pan like the last one. I don't see any flaking of the coating but that's a serious divot. That's the deepest one. You might be able to see how deep it is at this angle. But it's, that's a big dent, very large. Look at that. Absolutely no dent, no divots, no dings, no flaking. I don't even see where the impact was. So of these pants, which do you think performed the best? Leave your comment below. As far as durability, I don't think you can beat the cast iron pan. There's absolutely no scratches and no divots from the impact test. It has its drawbacks though. It's extremely heavy, it's not as non-stick, and it gets very hot. Of the three remaining pans, I think the granite performed the best. It's the only one during the scratch test that didn't scratch down to the aluminum. On the impact test, it has the least amount of damage. There's no flaking whatsoever, and none of the coating had come off. It's also very light. So what do you want me to compare to see which is better? Leave your comment below. Thanks for watching, subscribing, and commenting. 
Be sure to hit the notification bell so you'll get notified when I release new videos.